Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life. In this episode, I want to try this uh, latest version of Blender Grease Pencil 3.0 in Blender 4.1 Alpha. So earlier today, I saw this uh, post on Twitter by Momo Mundo. Uh, basically, he covers everything about uh, the latest bl Blender Grease Pencil 3.0. There's a lot of things that's still under development, uh, but he also gives uh, an example here where uh, Grease Pencil is being affected by uh, geomet uh, geometry nodes. Uh, you can download all the blend files here. Uh, highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's got a lot of things here already. I probably uh, gonna go through everything again, uh, but in my own pace. Uh, this is the old Blender 3.6. In the old days, we have a uh, grease pencil, uh, as we already know, uh, shift A, grease pencil, uh, maybe blank, and then draw, right click. This is usually how I show anyone who used grease pencil for the first time. So you can draw stroke. This is in 3D space. And there is like a hidden plane and then you can just doodle on it. The cool thing about the old grease pencil, you already it's already like a like a full on tool. Uh, you can you can draw uh, you can place the stroke on another strokes and you know you can connect first point or just connect with the end points or with the all points. With all points, if you draw a stroke like that, the stroke will try to connect into every other strokes. If you just use first point whenever you draw a stroke it's gonna try to draw it on that part of the stroke so and of course grease pencil is of course something that can be animated so every frame if you turn on auto keying if you draw a new stroke that's gonna be uh, some like uh, you can animate that and but the stroke <coughs> in blender in the old blender uh, if you want to modify this using geometry nodes you cannot do that yet uh, and unless you use the the latest 4.1 alpha which i will try in a bit so in the in the old day i actually use uh, sphere chalk nodes in order to maybe modify or refer to convert this into curve in real time so with the stroke selected if I search GP grease pencil and just get the grease pencil layer so this is how you can do it still pretty cool and let's use polyline viewer just to output this okay so it's become real objects and it's all separated you can you can also you can merge it into a single objects um, of course uh, you can uh, you can always convert <coughs> the grease pencil into convert it into curve and then modify that from from there using grease uh, geometry nodes but in the new uh, grease pencil so 4.1 alpha apparently uh, we need to turn this on so grease pencil 3.0 still under experimental and so let's try this shift a grease pencil empty draw mode and see maybe because it's still experimental uh, i realize whenever i draw something i, I cannot really see it but I can see there is a curve there. So it, let me delete everything. Grease pencil draw. Still nothing. Okay, let me add modifier geometry nodes new. So it's uh we can use geometry nodes on the grease pencil, the new grease pencil objects, and we can apparently use it uh like a normal curve. So curve to mesh, it's become a curve. And 
and if we use circle we can see it's a it's a real object it's pretty cool and as as i change the stroke every stroke every points have a radius and it's actually something that can be affected multiplied this way okay <clears throat> so it's pretty cool um we can usually we can perform like the usual stuff for example based on count or for example based on the length the useful drill length actually pretty cool and you can feel the caps you might notice uh, there's very limited functions at the moment with the blend blender grease pencil 3.0 in blender 4.1 alpha so still work in progress um, we can still assign stroke and fill color and with the grease pencil material i'm not gonna go there i just like the to play around with the stroke at the moment uh yeah see if you make this really make the length really big as you draw you can see it's kind of animated so that's kind of cool the you can also okay if, because this is grease pencil you can create new frames and, and this actually can be animated as usual every frame will create a new stroke okay uh, so that's pretty cool so let's take a look at uh, some of the other example actually from Mumu Mundo uh, yeah this one you, you can download it you can give a zero this is free but you can always uh, give donations to Mumu Mundo uh, let's take a look at some of this example oh by the way if you if you shift a and create Susan okay sometimes it appears I don't know maybe it's still experimental but sometimes disappear oh yeah so so you can still draw like normally but the stroke is seems like more 3d and it's only currently draw, being drawn on this hidden plane I cannot draw it in 3d yet maybe in the near uh, in the near future so Let's take a look at some example uh, stroke to mesh stroke thickness stroke thickness is an interesting one for mumu mundo so it's using suzanne but i'm not seeing anything no grease pencil frame to draw on okay okay that's interesting We need the timeline to create that. Okay, it's using Suzanne. Maybe, maybe just draw a new grease pencil stroke or something. And then assign this geometry nodes modifier thickness. Oh, okay. Cannot see anything. Maybe it's a slightly buggy sometimes. Oh, okay. This is a cool example. Um, animations by Momo Mundo. Chris pencil animations. This pencil, stick pencil character. So again, it's using resample curve. Uh, we can change this to length. Make it more abstract. It's pretty cool. Almost like a Picasso grease pencil. Change the radius. You can randomize the radius. You know all the drill. Oh, yeah. Set the material, of course. Pretty cool. 
it's only in the 2D plane, but still, it's thick, man. It's still pretty cool. Um, the one that's kind of interesting, probably the flag effect. The flag effects. What is this one? Oh, the okay, the piece, piece effects. Uh, this one using grease pencil. Okay, I think. It's interesting okay draw so that you got the motion there there's the this is the material uh, green feel white feel Anyhow, just trying these tools on. I want to see the the geometry notes. Uh, the geometry. Okay, you can you can see it's uh, the curve is kind of it still maintain itself as grease pencil. Uh, there's the noise that's affecting the positions uh, using the offset. Uh, this one sub should be subtracted by 0 0.5 and get a scale make it smaller smaller faster oh, okay that's the uh, noise affecting grease pencil basically so it's like grease pencil modifier but you can you can recreate it using geometry nodes pretty very cool very nice example from Manu. Uh, he did everything in one video, so that's nice. GP to mesh, GP to mesh, involving the shape of Suzanne. So, as you already know, a uh, grease pencil always involves stroke and the feel itself. So that's exactly this is uh, exactly what's going on there not equal so that's i don't know why we need to use this uh, maybe it's deleting the first stroke anyhow this is how manu set it up uh the rotations without the rotations you actually get like flat line like that i don't know why i think that's because with the Grease pencil and fill curve. I think it's a. Uh, it needs to have like a planar surface in order to fill, to fill it as a mesh. But that's uh, that's happened. That's what's happening. Uh, flag effects, stick man. We saw that stroke to mesh, stroke to mesh. Okay, this is. That's useful. Okay. I'm I'm just using my mouse here, but you're, if you're using stylus, uh, there's gonna be like pressure sensitivity, and you get this. You can get these effects affecting it. If you are using like a spline parameter, you can use the factor and curve float. What is this uh, value here? Yeah. You can have this affecting the radius. Set radius. Set curve radius. And curve radius comes from this. Now the beginning and the end of the stroke can be affected this way it's all i think we know pretty much all of this still just trying to refresh myself on some of the fundamental if you never use grease pencil and never use 
geometry nodes, you know, it's good to see this. So anyway, the Bl Blender Gris Pencil 3.0 uh, still currently being developed, still fairly new. You can see it's very smooth and fast. It's a lot faster, um, but it's still currently very limited. You can still you can already animate using these. You can play around with this, but still remember this is still Blender Alpha, so keep that in mind. Turn on keyframe if you wanna start animating using this crisp pencil. Let's say make it one hundred percent. One hundred. You can. You can. Oh, okay. You can go frame by frame, I guess. There is a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to how to animate frame by frame. You know, using all kind of different app. Grease pencil worked in 3D, and you can. You can animate like usual. Uh, I mean, using onion skin and stuff. Just uh, sometimes it's not so obvious that you can use onion skinning. It's actually here somewhere. Where is the onion skinning? Oh. Probably it's not there at the moment, but normally, uh, yeah, normally you can turn on onion skinning. Crisp pencil onion skinning, yeah, here, onion skinning. So you can see the previous keyframe and then draw on top. Turn on the. This auto keying. So this is a a hacky way using sphere chalk. Sphere chalk can turn stroke into curve or whatever. Uh, but in the latest gris pencil 3.0 in Blender 4.0 one alpha, you can do that on the fly. So yeah, so that's a long. Uh, just basically a first look into Grease Pencil, the Grease Pencil 3 in Blender 4.1. Hopefully you find this useful. But anyways, my video is a bit longer and I'm just testing out this, thanks, testing this myself, you know. There's a lot of cool things about Grease Pencil. And this one cover everything pretty much. Uh, quick introductions to GP3 in Blender 4.1. And... Hopefully you find this useful. Anyway, uh, I give some more information about Sphere Chalk and stuff. You can download Sphere Chalk from GitHub as well. So Sphere Chalk doesn't quite work on 4.0 at the moment. Uh, so I'm using 3.6. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you find this uh, useful. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.